What could be inside the gray egg? Number one. One. One goal. Hooray! One. We write number one like this. One. What could be inside the pink egg? Number two. Mm -hmm. Look! What a sweet little worm! Peekaboo! Where are you? Here I am! I see you! We write number two like this. Two. What could be inside the blue egg? Three. Three. Three airplanes. We write number three like this. Three. What could be inside the red egg? Four. Oh, a ladybird. One, two, three. Four. A four leaf clover. Four. We write number four like this. Four. What could be inside the brown egg? Five. One, two, three, four, and five. Five yeah. yummy donuts. Yum. Five. We write number five like this. Five. What could be inside the yellow egg? Six. Six balloons. Hooray! One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six balloons. We write number six like this. Six. What could be inside the purple egg? Seven. Yay. Peekaboo. One. Yay. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. 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 We write number seven like this. What could be inside the green egg? Eight.
suite. Be careful, flies! Beware of frog! Eight little flies! Yummy! Eight. We write number eight like this. Eight. What could be inside the orange egg? Nine. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little bubbles. Nine. We write number nine like this. Nine. What could be inside the black egg? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zilch. The bird flew away. None stayed here. Zero. We write number zero like this. Zero. Hmm. What would happen if we wrote number one in front of zero? <laughs> We'd create number ten. Ten footballs? That's a lot more than just zero or one. If we write number two in front of zero, we create number 20. 20 little worms. That's two times more than 10. That is really a lot. And what number do we get if we put number three in front of zero? We write number 30. 10, 20, 30. 30 little planes. If we write number four in front of zero, we create number 40. 40 ladybirds is already a big swarm. If we write number five in front of zero, we create number 50. 50 donuts is really a lot. If I ate them all, my tummy would hurt. If we write number six in front of zero, we create number 60. 60 little balloons! That's how many balloons I had at my birthday party! <sighs> if we write number seven in front of zero, we create number 70. 70. 70 nails! What do you say? We'll hammer them all in. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. The hammers hammered in all 70 nails. If we write number eight in front of zero, we create number 80. 80 little flies. Now the frog is sure to catch at least one. Oops, she hasn't. Never mind, she'll get it next time. And what number do we get if we put number nine in front of zero? We write number 90. 90 little fish. That's a really big school of fish. If we put number one in front of two zeros, we'd write number 100. However, this number is way too big. We couldn't fit that many objects on the screen. Therefore, we're done counting. I hope you enjoy the numbers as much as I do and will come again.
I'll be glad if you subscribe or watch our other videos. Bye-bye and come again.